Okay, so I have my right slider. So I'll just go in that symbol here. Or I'm sorry, my left slider. Left and right. It can be difficult sometimes. Alright, so uh, I've got this guy. <clears throat> um, first thing I need to do, I'll just name these real quick. Lines. guy out. I don't know how big it is. Try. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. And big. Let's see. Actually, I want this to be lined opposite. Make it a little longer here. That's definitely too small. And I want it black. We'll bump it up to, um, I don't know, 40 might be too big. Yeah, right about there. Um, and then I have a smaller one, which is... 18. Develop pre. It's not a developer. could like bake these in just make it a static text but um, you never know I might change my name or uh, you know want to change it so we'll just call this uh, name text kind of have some naming conventions I like to use um, subtitle So I keep things straight when I'm coding. So I've got those two. I also need um, my little symbol behind there. So symbol. This one needs to be like a gray and pretty big. But again, it might be easier to. Resize layer, so we'll do that. Just make it big. Oops, let's lock those up. Oh, I hate when this happens. Sometimes there's a bug where my key, my hotkey, stopped working. But uh, if I switch, it helps. So I don't know. If Whenever gets that bug, I have a way to fix it. Let me know. Shrink it just a little. Mm. I like that. Looks like a little crown. Anyway, um, Control B. I'm gonna break it up so it's just a symbol. Boom. There we go. That doesn't change. I might change that in the future, actually. If I change my name, I'm going to want to change my symbol, too. Uh, anyway, the original design also has these buttons right here, right? But um, I just locked that up. What did I do? Oh, OK, there we go. Um, but again, I'm probably going to put those on with code. Well, no, I'll make a button. 
right, like I did before. Selection box a little bigger when you're dealing with text because a lot of times when you render the movie it shrinks. So oh, we need to label that. So label text. There we go. And one last thing. I want it on that side. Oh, got my button. something. Right, we have a blog about resume contact or resume. I want them there. Though they look small now. Right? And that looks little as well. Though I kinda like it smaller now, now that I'm looking at it. These I might blow up. I haven't decided. Anyway we'll that inch those down just like that. Good, and we can have. Um, honestly, I might want to add more buttons or remove buttons, so I didn't really need to put these here. I just have a button that I can add or remove, and then I'll have a again an empty movie clip. It's called. all the way up to probably no higher than that though. So I'll just call that uh there again. Actually yeah, I don't really need to do that. I do want to register it there though. So I'm kind of doing it sloppy because I'm going fast for the tutorial here. Because um, that's probably not the exact way I wanted to do that. Also, my library is a mess. Usually I sort all this stuff out. So I would have like folders for different things. All right. So if, if uh, it's art for my section, right? So I would move it. Oops, that slider. Using that the slider. The line is in my section. Holders in my section. Don't need you. Uh, the nav bar is section. Your slider. No, nope, your section as well. Section. Sectional stuff on my slider. Um, so anyway, I feel pressured. I feel rushed because I'm doing this. Um, I'm recording this. Anyway, I'll have a little button section right here, and it's called folder. Maybe nav. 
holder. I don't know what I want to call it. Holder for now. It's fine. Um, so I got that. Now I go. What I'm going to have on this side? Well, on this one, I am going to have an infinite menu. So what I want is something that's a little too big. Probably right around here. Like that. in here nothing too fancy but I do want a mask now I can't fade it like I did um, in my section where I faded out the bottom of the button the sliders the thumbnail section because um, if I were to do like black or something it would show up so what I'm gonna have to do is make an actual mask and I want to fade out the ends of this mask. So, here, actually, this guy can go. Whoops. Yeah, he can go. But I'm going to, ooh. I didn't even realize I did that. Uh, my registration's on the wrong side right now, so I need to go realign it so I want it on that side just like that okay so I have a holder which is just an empty movie clip somewhere should be this guy right here should be empty but he's not boom there we go now he's empty you just drag him slider here. Drag my holder. Not yet. Gotta go in my infinite menu. Okay. Lock that up. Now I drag my holder over. Boom. And align it. Right up there. Give it a name. Got my holder. Good. Lock you. Okay now for my mask. Again, I like to use that green color. Boom. 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 And you get to be 100%. And you. Wait. To be zero. Just like that. I might actually. Can I do it that way? Pretty good. So now when I make this a mask, right, my holder's empty, but if it had stuff in it, it wouldn't matter. Because as far as flash is concerned, um, it, it just takes the shape of the mask. It doesn't care about the opacity. Right? But in the code, we can do a little trick where we make it care about the opacity, and then what will happen is inside this area very clear in this area it won't be and it'll fade out a little bit and actually now I'm thinking about it I don't want it to go all the way to zero maybe like 20 like that just like that we go back to our slider and move this guy where it needs to be can uh, I figure out where it is there. Um, I move my 
middle point over here accidentally. So anyway, it's probably good enough. I have my infinite menu guy right there. I'll just call him menu. Just like that. And voila, I kind of have all my pieces built. Um, I think of each kind of object as a, a class I'm going to have to code. Possibly multiple classes inside of it. Right? But so I have my uh, header. You can't see it, but I have a section for the buttons that go in here. And I made the button. And in the code, I'll just add as many buttons as I need. So if I want more than two sections or five sections or whatever, I can add whatever. Right? On here, I have my header up here, which I can change in code. I'll probably add the glow around it as well. I have this. This is one big movie clip, and inside it, I have a scroll bar, a mask, and and uh, the holder area. I also have my image, my next buttons, and all that. So, yep. Next up, I should be able to start coding all this junk and getting it to work just right. So, see you next time.